Hello everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today for my design team project for Scrapping for Less, I am making this adorable little vending machine fun card. Every month Scrapping for Less has a monthly um, focus on a product. This month's focus is Lawn Fawn and so I'm using this cute little stamp set from Lawn Fawn. It's called your Clossum, which is so adorable, has a lot of fun little images and a lot of cute little themes going on with the stamp set. And then I also have the coordinating dies. So to make this card, first I'm taking a piece of white cardstock and I am going to stamp it the big vending machine here. It's pretty large size. I'm going to use some uh, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Um, I'm going to stamp up that image really good and stamp that. I am going to be using um, my alcohol markers, so that's why I chose this ink. It's my, it's an alcohol friendly mink, uh, mink. <laughs> oh, alcohol friendly ink, so that's what I'm using. Now I'm also taking some, st these are um, four bar, small four bar stitch rectangle dies from Lawn Fawn, and I'm going to cut out two of the larger panels using that rectangle die, and I'm going to stamp my image on that as well. So I have two of the vending machines stamped. Um, now I'm going to take that adorable little claw and I'm going to stamp that on the side here. And then also in the stamp set it has some cute little images. Uh, one is the little, little unicorn and you have two little teddy bears. One is the teddy bears, um, teddy bear that looks like the teddy bears in the vending machine and then another one has like a little bit of a sly look. So I thought it'd be cute to add that. So. Um, I'm also grabbing these this little star stamp. It's um, it has a few stars in a row that fit perfectly on the top of the vending machine. So I stamped that right on top here, just on this one though. Now I'm gonna grab the panel that I stamped with the vending machine, and um, I am gonna. At first I thought I was gonna make a shaker card, but then um, I thought it there's a lot going on with this card, so. I wanted the look of a shaker card, but without the shake. <laughs> so I'm just cutting out the inside of this vending machine here using my craft knife. Lovely. I'm gonna just finish it off a little bit more here. And as I as I cut it out, I I actually cut out part of the stamped line on the sides. So I'm taking my black alcohol marker and going over the edges there. That way um, it has a more finished look. That was an easy fix, so. Lovely. Now I'm not going to use those teddy bears. I'm actually going to, for this larger panel here, I'm actually going to color in the vending machine part and then I'm just going to cut out um, where the teddy bears are. So I have the bottom and the top part of the vending machine. Now I'm going to skip forward because the coloring did take a little bit of time. But here I colored in the vending machine and then I colored in the little dispenser part of it on the other cardstock. I colored in the teddy bears and the claw and then um, the single teddy bear. Now I'm going. this is where I'm going to cut out that part um, of the vending machine window, kind of, sort of. I'm cutting the top part out and the bottom part out. And then for a little bit of added dimension, I'm cutting out the, um, the dispensing area part. And you can see on the other panel, that's where I colored it in. So I'm just gonna, just for a little bit added accent, I thought it'd be fun. So I cut that out. And I do want a finished edge on that, so I'm taking my black alcohol marker and I'm going along the inside edge of that just to give it a real clean look. And then I'm also going to go along the top part where I cut out the vending machine and then um, the bottom part as well. Now, um, Scrapping for Less has a lot of fun design projects on their blog um, with um, featuring Lawn Fawn. You might want to go check that out. A lot of fun cards. Love Lawn Fawn. 
Here I'm taking that panel and I'm going to pop that up with some foam tape. And I got that done and now I'm taking that extra, remember we uh, cut out that extra panel? I'm going to use that for the back. So I'm just going to place that directly behind it. Lovely. Okay. Now we have that done, we're going to add our teddy bears, which are so cute, adorable, I love them. And I'm just using my tape runner and I'm going to stick those on the inside there. Okay, next I'm taking the claw. Now I'm going to do something kind of strange, but I thought it would be so fun. I'm taking a piece of scratch paper here and I want to extend the top part of that claw. So I just attached it to the top there. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm, there's the little um, middle piece of the claw. So you have the top base of the claw and then you have the claw itself and then there's a bar holding them together. I cut out that bar. We don't need that bar. So for my stash I have these um, tags that came with this little metal, metal string thing, uh, a chain maybe you can call it, but I thought it'd be cute to add that, a, real, a little metal chain as, as the claw base. So I'm just using a glue dot and I'm flipping it around there and I'm going to attach the top part of that chain to the, to the top part of the claw base. And then I'm taking another glue dot and I want to sandwich it together just so it sticks really well. And here I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim down the top part so, so I could tuck it underneath my panel here. And I kind of, I did um, make the, plaw, or the claw, um, I put it a little bit to the, the right of the card here. There we go. And here you can see the way that chain kind of moves. I think that just gives the, the cutest effect. Now I'm going to trim down my chain because it is a little bit long. Lovely. Now we still have the bottom part of the claw and I'm taking a glue dot and placing it on there. And then <clears throat> as I did this I thought well the glue dot's going to stick to the back of my panel. So I'm going to grab that die and I'm going to use white cardstock I'm just going to cut out another one of those claws. And then I'm going to trim off the top part of it and then I'm going to sandwich the chain right in between my colored in part and then the, um, the white one that we just cut out. So we have a claw sandwich. <laughs> Love that. And you can see where how it kind of moves. I think it looks so neat. Love that. <laughs> I was so excited when, I, when this turned out. I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. <laughs> I'm taking that little extra teddy bear and he's the only te he's the only brown teddy bear in the bunch so I thought that was cute. I'm just going to attach him to the claw using my my Tombow Mono multi glue. And I don't know why I did this, maybe because my marker was just sitting on the desk, but I just colored in the back part of the claw. But um and that's it for that part. Looks so cute. Love that. Okay, now since we didn't color that part of the vending machine, we need to make the front part. So I have a piece of acetate here, and I'm just using my my glue again. I'm going over that that pan, um, that colored piece here with my acetate, and I'm covering over that window tooth. I thought that was a cute little effect. And then I'm going to place that directly on my panel, kind of as a guide and a measurement. And then I'm going to just grab my glue, place it right in the center, grab my glue, add a little bit of glue up to the top there and then I can attach that top piece. And that way I, I, I get it perfect. And I went ahead and trimmed down all the excess acetate. Okay, now I'm going to just go ahead and pop that up with some foam tape.
Now this, the acetate will be open on the sides, but since there's no, um, no sequins in there, I wasn't really worried about it at all. I'm just going to remove the backing off my phone tape, and I'm going to place that directly on top, making sure it's centered, of my panel. And then there we go, we have like a little 3D little teddy bear vending machine. So cute. I'm very happy with the way that turned out. <laughs> Now I think it needs a little bit more color, so for my stash I'm grabbing a piece of yellow cardstock and I'm just trimming it down to where it just adds a little bit of a yellow accent behind my panel here. Now um, this stamp set along with the dies are available at scrappingforless.com if you want to check that out. I'll, I will leave links below to their blog and to the Scrapping for Less store. You can check that out. Now I'm just going to adhere my panel to my yellow cardstock, kind of centering it there. Lovely. Now we need our card base. Um, I'm using a piece of gray cardstock that I trimmed down to an A2 size card. And I'm just positioning my little panel right in the center where I think it should go. And then I'm going to grab my pencil and kind of mark the bottom because I want to make sure to get the sentiment centered. But um, I, I did not forget my anti-static powder tool this time. Woo, that's a good thing. But I took the sentiment that says, have a clawsome day. Now the fun part about this stamp set is there's a lot of um, interactive sentiments. So you could really go crazy and create your own cute little sentiment. So I use Versamark ink and I stamp that and then I'm going to use some clear embossing powder. Or no, white embossing powder, I'm so sorry. <laughs> The white really stood out on this card, so white white it was. And then I'm going to heat set that. I'm going to erase my little pencil mark. Lovely. And then I'm going to use my tape runner and just adhere this directly to the center of my card base. This card was so fun, and oh my goodness. It was... Um, I think the next card that I do, this is kind of a, a neutral card, I think the next card I, I do using the stamp set, I'm going to use some really bright pinks and purples, I thought that would be fun to do. But I'm taking my Wink of Stella and going over the little knobs and the stars. And then here, I noticed my sentiment was off a little bit, so to balance it a little bit more, I grabbed some little star sequins from my stash, and I'm just placing a few here and there. And then a couple on the acetate up there, too. Lovely. And then I'm grabbing some glossy accents. And just for a little added dimension, I'm going over the, the control panel here on this vending machine just to make it stand out a little bit more. And that's it. I was so excited the way this card turned out. It was so fun and so cute. And I love interactive cards. And I think that chain just worked out really well. I thank you so much for joining me. Um, check out the links below. You, there's a lot of great ideas with Lawn Fawn products. So thanks for joining me, guys. i wishing you a very wonderful day. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.